Hello, everybody. It's Susan Marshawn, the Techie Mentor. Thank you for stopping by this week for our newest video blog, which is on the topic of focus. So if you're anything like me, I have shiny object syndrome, SOS, which means I am easily distracted and I'm always looking at new things coming up in the marketplace. So as you know, technology changes at the speed of light and there's always new tools to look at. And what I found is I'm easily distracted when somebody says, hey, have you seen this tool before? Or hey, have you tried this tool before? And what I realized is I waste a lot of time poking and playing and having fun with tools when I should really be focused on what I need to get done. So I'm just gonna give you some tips today on helping you focus if you have shiny object syndrome, or I even think I have ADD to be honest because I am all over the place sometimes. And I'm just gonna share with you the tips that have worked very well for me. First one that um, I have found that works is to work in small bursts or small increments of time. And you can do this from anywhere from five, 10, 15, 20, and, and you can continue to go up from there. I actually work in short 15 minute bursts. I hyper focus on what I need to get done in just 15 minutes. Cause I think, you know, I can do anything for 15 minutes. I can concentrate on something for just 15 minutes. And your brain needs to be trained to focus if you're easily distracted like me. So you might wanna start with five minutes and work up, but it really does make a difference even in five minute chunks than being scattered and distracted all day. You end up not getting anything done, especially if you're being paid by the hour, you know, that's how you earn your living, right? So you wanna make sure you're as focused and productive as you can be. Now, another thing you can do along with working in those short bursts is set a timer, whether you use an egg timer, whether you use a timer on your computer or on your phone and have it count down in your 15 or 10 or five, incre five minute increments. I use a 15 minute, as I mentioned, I use my phone to make sure that it's counting down for me. And then when the timer goes off, if I'm still hyper-focused, I'll set it for another 15 and continue to go. Also, what I really recommend that you do when you're really focusing is get rid of all distractions. Close your email, close your Skype, close your Facebook, close all social media, put your cell phone in the drawer, or if you're using your cell phone timer, you know, turn it down so you don't have to hear any text messages or phone calls because you don't want to be distracted by those shiny objects that maybe pop up that you have a new email or you get a new PM from somebody or Skype. And by turning off all those distractions, it will really help you stay focused and really train your brain in order for you to um, get better at managing your distractions and your time. One other thing I would recommend that you do is, is keep track of what is the most important thing to get done in a day. You really should focus on your revenue generating tasks, whatever those are. Those should be the things that you do first and foremost, not the urgent tasks, not the tasks that somebody comes up with and just to keep you busy. You need to make sure that you stay focused on your revenue generating tasks because they really do make a difference. Another thing is schedule everything that you do. And I mean everything. Put it in your task management, put it on a calendar, put it in your phone, put it somewhere. Schedule your chunks per day. So schedule your billable time, which means you're doing your billable work. Schedule time to do social media. Schedule time to work on your business. Schedule downtime. But find a way to schedule the most important parts of your day. You also may consider just scheduling things like certain days of the week you do phone calls. So instead of every day of the week, which cuts your day up, maybe you only do um, status calls or client calls on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or maybe just Wednesdays. Remember, it's your business, it's your choice, but by scheduling these things, it really makes life so much easier and it will cut down on the distractions that you have. So I'd love to hear what um, tips and tricks you may have on staying focused. If you found this of value or found it to be good information, please feel free to share this. And if you're on my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe because I, I release new videos every week and feel free to comment below. If you're on my website, you know, feel free to subscribe to my blog as well as my uh, YouTube channel to make sure you're notified whenever something new is out. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate your time today and I'll see you next week.